Rigger check 1. Proper layout. Dress the upper lateral band. Apply first tension. Flip the right group of gores over to the left and begin folding the gores starting with line 15. Continue folding gores until line 14 is on top and subdivide gore 13 and 14. Slide the canopy back on the table, insert the line separator between group separation, place a packing weight on top of the suspension lines and apply second tension. Conduct the first rough dress. Split the canopy and fine dress the bottom two gores. Fold right side of canopy to the left and fine dress each individual gore from anti-inversion net to the upper cross seam of panel B. For extended gores, push the excess canopy material to the outside and pull excess toward apex. Clear the extended gore limiter line and place toward the apex. Ensure the white attachment loop is not through the guide ring and place the guide ring in the air channel. Fold the excess material to match the previous gore. Access to the outside, fish hook, trace in place, guide ring, fold excess. Continue fine dressing until line 28 is on top. Fold the left group of gores to the right and repeat. Continue fine dressing until line 28 is on top. Locate and clear 8 middle control lines and place in the air channel. Clear lower control lines and trace down to L bar connector links. Release tension and stow lower control lines with a double wrap of the 1 and 1 16th retainer band. Reapply tension. Move to lower lateral band and call rigger check 2. After lower control line stowed. Fold the right group of gores 2 inches over the air channel placing packing weights as demonstrated. Fold the left group of gores over the right group with no rollback. Fold the slot on gore 13 at a 45 degree fold. Inspect the deployment bag, static line, and snap hook before use. Partially invert your deployment bag exposing the cotton buffer. You will use quarter inch cotton webbing, doubled, to attach the vent loop to the cotton buffer. Tie with a surgeon's knot locking knot and trim the running ends to 2 inches. Call rigger check 3. After brake cord tie. Disconnect the vent loop from the upper tension device, place the upper lateral band in upper right corner of the deployment bag, continue folding the canopy in alternating sides of the deployment bag. Stow the anti-inversion net into the deployment bag maintaining group separation. Move the running end of the suspension lines over the deployment bag between the locking stows. Stow the side flaps, insert the locking stow loops and the connector link tie loops through the slots in the locking stow panel. Move the suspension lines back over the bag towards the lower end of the tables. Make the first locking stow to riggers view right. Make second locking stow to riggers view left. Locking stows will be 2 inches with the running ends toward lower end of the packing table. Lay deployment bag down and flatten deployment bag. Make the first regular stow to the upper right corner and call rigger check 4. First regular stow. Rotate deployment bag 1 quarter turn clockwise and continue stowing the suspension lines in an alternating fashion. The first regular stow as well as the remaining stows will be 1 inch. There should be a minimum of 8 stows per panel with no more than 8 to 10 inches of excess. Remove stow hooks. Route connector link ties using quarter inch cotton webbing, single, ensuring the lower control lines are free and clear. Call rigger check 5 connector link ties routed. Route the connector link ties through the suspension line protector flap loops. Tie connector link ties with a surgeon's knot locking knot and trim the running ends to 2 inches. Record the deployment bag serial number in the log record book. Call rigger check 6 connector links tied. 
place the risers in the of the pack tray and rotate the deployment bag on top. Place the static line off to the left side of the table. Route a pull-up cord through the main closing loop. Pull the main closing loop through the grommet on the right pack closing flap and insert a temp pin. Remove twist from the static line and align the curved pin with the left pack closing flap grommet. Fold the remaining static line under the lower right end of the deployment bag. Close the bottom then top pack closing flaps. Insert main curved pin from left to right. Call rigger check 7 pack closing. Pull the pull up cord out. Tuck the main curved pin protector flap into the tuck flap. Dress the pack tray. Make the first regular stow to the right outer static line stow bar. There should be 4 stows on the outer static line stow bar and 4 stows on the inner static line stow bar. All stows should be 2 inches with a double wrap of the 2 inch retainer band. Connect the snap hook to the right outer stow bar. Any excess static line will be secured by the static line slack retainer band. Complete the log record entries and call rigger check 8 completion of pack. 